Hey guys, welcome back. Drunk Pokeroo here. Uh, tonight we have my special treat, uh, my growler I picked up the other day at Nickelbrook Brewing in Burlington. Uh, I filled it with Naughty Neighbor. Also got a can of Naughty Neighbor. Thanks again, Nickelbrook. You guys are fantastic. Um, it's more of a session IPA, and by session I mean it's lower in ABV. It's only 4.9%. It's only 38 IBUs, so we talked about IBUs the other day. Because it's a, an IPA, you know, it's an ale, you're not you're going to feel the bitterness more so than if you were drinking a larger flavor profile beer like a stout or a porter. Um, but it's a little bit lower, so maybe a better place for you to start if you're just beginning to explore craft beers. Um, I always say drink craft, not crap. And the reason I say that is because I drank crap for a long time. Um, certainly wasn't where I envisioned uh, ending up. So... As I've gone on my journey in craft beer and I've discovered things like Nickelbrook and these delicious half gallons or 1.89 liters of beer, um, there's so many flavors out there and you don't need to cram garbage beer down your throat. So let's uh, save this for another day there. Um, the nice thing about a growler is that it's fresh and with an IPA, fresh is better. Uh, it's not a beer you age. You, age, you can age, you know. High alcohol stouts, um, their Kentucky Bastard, which I've mentioned before. I'm aging one for next year. I really want to see the, the flavor nuances, and I'll, I'll uh, bring you guys along next December when we pop that open. But uh, with IPAs, the fresher the better. They start to lose their their uh, their nuances, I guess, their, their subtle flavor changes. They, they become very flat and very boring after uh, a while. So um, with the Growler... You've got, I mean, they say about seven days. I usually like to drink them, if not that day, uh, two or three days after. They say they'll keep for a couple of days after you open them. So, I mean, you know, you don't have to drink the whole thing in one night. I certainly don't intend to. Um, I like to spread it over, you know, two nights. But uh, two days is, is where I'd put it. Let's let's not be crazy here. Let's, uh, you know, enjoy the beer for what it is. So let's uh, pop the top off. That's a lot of beer in there. So... Remember that when you're pouring. Take your time. Oh, look at that. That is so clear and golden. And look at the carbonation coming out of the bottom of that. Can you see that? Oh, that is wonderful. Wonderful. A little sniff off the top. Now, in comparison to headstock, which we had on Friday night, this is not quite so um, in your face with its hoppy presence. Um, I can smell it. It's subtle. There's tropical, some tropical notes in there. Yeah. Dive in. Cheers. lovely mm. the difference between this and headstock is that headstock is very hot forward very much in your face with the piney citrusy um, grapefruit flavors this is a little bit more subtle um, I get more mango um, then it goes into like a pineapple with bitter coming on at the end like it is very very refreshing the malt body it's an APA so it's an American pale ale, so it's styled after the American uh, pale ales with that that malt body which tempers the hoppiness again um, and this one even more so it really dials it back now I remember the first time I had Naughty Neighbor it was I'm gonna say sometime around my 40th birthday so about three years ago and I couldn't have it I couldn't get into it I all I taste was pine tree and I'll tell you the, the longer you go along your journey in, in craft beer, um, the more you're going to realize that it's not pine tree. Um, I, I mean, I detect a piney note, no doubt. Uh, it's definitely in there. But when you swish it around your mouth, which, you know, really you, you want to do that, it's not wine, so don't spit it out. Swallow it. It's beer. It's always beer. Jeez, 
Um, but I have to tell people that sometimes. But, uh, you know, it's it, it, definitely there's a malt sweetness in there that I really like. I really am glad that my first growler from them was Naughty Neighbor. Um, it's just so good. Like, it's very refreshing. It's at 4.9%. It's not overwhelming, okay? It's not the big 7% like the headstock or, or some beers we've, we've got in the fridge here at Merle's that are running at, you know, 12% or 14%. Those are big, boozy bastards, I call them. And they take, you know, an hour, an hour and a half to get through if you're drinking them responsibly. You know, you don't pound beers like that. You don't pour them in a funnel and funnel them, you know, or shotgun them or whatever used to do with beers you drink them sip them you enjoy them this little more is uh for me watching the game beer like the all-star game sunday for the nhl i'm gonna tape it because i gotta work till 9 30 but uh, when i get home you know having one of these perfect have, have two because it's not gonna wreck your night it's not gonna put you on a, a path to blackout drunk and i mean that's what beer had to become for me so, I mean, get a growler. There's so much fun. And the nice part is, if you're feeling it, you just add a little top up there. Don't get me wrong. I'm not advocating pounding this whole thing in a night. All right? That's uh, far beyond who I am now. It's who I was. Um, but no, I mean, come on. If you want to enjoy your beer, the last thing in the world you want to do is drink 15 of them. Okay, it's, you're going to lose any sort of nuanced and flavors. And if you're going to do that, grab a case of Old Milwaukee, maybe some PBR. There's nothing wrong with them. You know, they're, they are what they are. They're, they're quantity beers that are meant to take you from sober to drunk as quick as possible. But if you want to enjoy some flavor... You know, and, and some quality ingredients and some natural ingredients. You know, they, they go to Nickelbrook, ask for a growler of Naughty Neighbor. Maybe pick up a headstock to have afterwards to kind of compare, you know, so you can see that larger hot profile, that larger hot presence, what, what that's like, you know. But that's what you want to do. Have two beers that night. Really think about it, because that's what I've been doing. And I'll tell you, it's changed my life. So the nice thing is, I don't need these openers for my growlers, although I should buy some new ones because I think this one's from uh, the late 80s. Um, you know what? Do yourself a favor. Get a, a session I, APA, like Naughty Neighbor. Try it. Okay? If it's too piney, and step back. Maybe find yourself some craft loggers. Work your way up to it. But go back to it every once in a while and try it because you will not regret it. Nickelbrook does good stuff. Cheers. Have a good night.